IAE V2500 Thrust Reverser Cowl Doors Opening Procedure Before you start the work, make sure that you follow all the safety precautions as outlined in the Aircraft Maintenance Manual. Put a warning notice on the centre pedestal to tell people not to start the engine. In the same way, put a warning notice on the overhead maintenance panel to make sure that the FADEC ground power push button stays in the off position. Open the fan cowl doors. Gain access to the hydraulic control unit lever and deactivate the thrust reverser system. Now, open the thrust reverser pressure relief doors on the bottom of the nacelle. Remove the auxiliary latch assembly from its retention clip on the left-hand thrust reverser half and make sure that the latch is adjusted to its minimum length before engaging the auxiliary latch assembly in the hook on the right-hand thrust reverser half. Turn the body of the auxiliary latch assembly with a spanner to pull the thrust reverser halves closer together and to relieve the tension on the latches. Once the tension is relieved, release the five latches in the following order according to the aircraft maintenance manual. The latches are counted from forward to aft. They are released in the following order, 3, 2, 5, and then 6, 4, 1. Begin with the latch in position number 3, the middle bifurcation latch. Continue with the latch number 2, the forward bifurcation latch. Release the translating sleeve double latch in positions 5 and 6. Then the aft bifurcation latch number 4. Finally, release the V groove latch in position number 1, which will make the red flag of the hold open device appear. Turn the auxiliary latch assembly to make it longer and disengage it from the hook on the right-hand thrust reverser half. Then, stow the auxiliary latch assembly into its retention clip. Remove the protection cap and connect the hose of the hand pump to the quick disconnect on the thrust reverser half. Close the valve on the hand pump. Now operate the hand pump until the thrust reverser half is fully open. The thrust reverser half is held open by two hold open rods stowed inside the thrust reverser half. Open the clip assembly to release the aft hold open rod. Push the lock arm and fully extend the hold open rod until it locks in the fully extended position. While the rod plunger is held close to the anchorage bracket on the engine, the valve on the hand pump is slowly opened until the plunger engages. Close the valve on the hand pump again. Release the forward hold open rod from its clip assembly and hold it in position in its bracket on the engine. Open the valve on the hand pump so that the plunger of the forward hold open rod engages. Now the weight of the thrust reverser half is equally carried by the two hold open rods. The second half is opened in the same way. Once all doors are opened, the engine is accessible for maintenance operations. IAE V2500 Thrust Reverser Cowl Doors Closing Procedure Operate the hand pump to open the thrust reverser half to remove the load from the hold open rods. 
disengage the hold open rods from the rod anchorage brackets and apply pressure to the spring loaded lock that is marked push. Retract the coupler end of the rod and release the lock. Continue to retract the coupler until the lock engages in the front locking groove. Stow both rods into their clips on the inside of the thrust reverser half and secure with the latches. Open the valve on the hydraulic hand pump slowly and let the thrust reverser half close. Caution! Do not disconnect the hand pump until the opening actuator system has been drained for a minimum of one minute after closing of the thrust reverser cowl. Compliance with this recommendation has proven to extend the thrust reverser cowl operating service life and to minimize leakage. Remove the auxiliary latch assembly from its retention clip on the left hand thrust reverser half and make sure that the latch is adjusted to its minimum length before starting to engage the auxiliary latch assembly in the hook on the right hand thrust reverser half. Turn the body of the auxiliary latch assembly with a spanner to pull the thrust reverser halves closer together. Close the thrust reverser latches in sequence as outlined in the aircraft maintenance manual. First, V-groove latch, followed by the aft bifurcation latch, the thrust reverser translating sleeve double latches, the forward bifurcation latch, and middle bifurcation latch. Turn the auxiliary latch assembly to make it longer and disengage it from the hook on the right hand thrust reverser half. Then stow the auxiliary latch assembly into the retention clip. Close the thrust reverser pressure relief doors. Disconnect the flexible hose of the hydraulic hand pump from the actuator manifold connector of the thrust reverser half and activate the thrust reverser hydraulic control unit.